the next question, what changes do you hope will come based on open policy in your country and why is it important to you? Um, uh, the, since it's already 10 years after the Cape Town Declaration had been adopted, but Kyrgyzstan has started to work with the open educational resources just three and a half years ago, but we get all those results very fast. But uh, what I really uh, believe that uh, it is really, um, uh, it was it, open education, it is a evolutionary phenomenon. I mean, what I, I mean by that is since the time is changing, it's a dig we are living in digital era and everyone are using the internet and exchanging the information, video and photo. So I think it, it is one of the stimulus or one of the incentives also for people to change the educational content also. So I think that if we start with the open educational resource like 10 years ago, we were not that much successful than uh, we did it right now because the governments, teachers, mm, and parents, they understand that uh, changing, uh, 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 sharing of the education using the information technologies is, is something what is naturally uh, uh, relevant to the situation what we have now. And I, I could, I want to just really encourage other countries. We've just met with Afghanistan and Mongolia, mm -hmm. that they have not, have not stopped. They, they didn't stop. They have to continue their work in getting uh, most favorable policies for developing open educational resources. Mm -hmm.